back today to one of our favorite goat hunting spots. I got Josh with me today, and we're gonna go cruise around, look for some some animals, see some cool landscapes. Hopefully, have a good time today. A uh, little overcast, which is perfect, cause then it's not too hot, and maybe uh, maybe make the animals move around a little bit more. Uh, I'm hunting with my self bow today because I didn't feel like sharpening the broadheads for my other bow. And Josh is hunting compound today because I haven't been able to get him out hunting in a little while. So this is the first time since last year at this spot, I think. I suck. <laughs> now, it'll be good today. Already see a few goats cruising around in the plains down below there. Clear day. Yeah, stunning day. Look, you can you can see all the way across to Maui today even. There's a little one feeding down by a tree right here. today it's coming right up the hill perfect to keep our scent keep our scent from spilling into this area down here it should help should help disguise our noise a little bit the wind rustling through the grass creates a good dull hum that uh, you know blocks out the little noises of our footsteps or our pants brushing through the grass so I think these conditions are just like spot on for us today Sometimes you gotta channel your inner goat to get through this terrain and get some steep rolly ground. Sometimes you're climbing up cliffs or uh, pretty steep terrain. The goats are definitely a lot more attentive today than they were last week, which is to be expected. So we can see some a couple hundred yards in pretty much any direction. And most of them are looking our way, seeing us come down the hill behind us here. We're not too worried about that though, because there's tons of them off in the distance. And so we'll just cover some ground, and, you know, as soon as we can approach something from a more hidden direction, I think we're gonna have some good luck. well-defined trail right here. You know there's a lot of traffic on this one. It goes right down around the side of this hill. Right in the direction that we are planning to head anyways. Oh look, there's one. Running right across the middle there. Got a big beard on.
was a pretty nice herd of billies with a few nannies and little ones with them that were hanging out in the area that we were trying to get to but the wind shifted a little bit and blew our scent right into where they were hanging out so the whole herd just moved out across the grass here a bummer but not that concerning because we could see from higher up that there were plenty of goats in this area so you know we're still kind of getting we're still kind of trying to find our concealed path to get into an area where there's a lot of them that we can get close to There's a couple big billies off to our right here, and it looks like they're moving in. It might move through these trees right here, so we're posted up. We've ranged out a few trees, and we're hoping to be ready for a shot if they come into view. I don't know where they are. Last I looked, they were about 60 yards away, maybe 70 or 80 yards away, actually, but moving towards us slowly and feeding a little bit. Okay, that's about 45. That's going to be about 50. Billies came and went. They were a little too far away. And then we stood up to follow them, and these other ones were right behind us, not even 50 yards. But they see us. They're not quite sure what's going on, so they're moving away. a pretty wild few minutes um, right after we stood up to chase the one billies that came from the right these two came in from behind us they were maybe 50 yards away so we tried creeping up on them and they just stopped at like 60 and were just staring at us and then you know jo Josh snuck up to 60 and I was hiding behind and while he was deciding whether or not to shoot, two other ones that are still here came in close. So I was trying to decide between filming and, and uh, taking a shot. And so I had my bow and my arrow and then it looked like Josh was going to shoot. So I got my camera out and then he let down. So I got my bow back out and then he drew again. So I got my camera out and he took the shot and it sounded like a great hit. The, the goat walked maybe 10 yards and bedded down and I, I think he just died or is dying, he just put his head down, um, you know, a minute later, so, whew, <laughs> exciting, but I, I think, it's a little early to say, but I think we're gonna have a successful day, good shot, man, good shot, meat on the table, yeah, we'll see when we get there, yeah, we'll see, but, uh, felt good, yeah, well, I commend your ability to control your, your release and let down when you didn't think it was gonna be a good shot, and then try again, so, 
exciting. <laughs> well, things can happen pretty fast. Um, but Josh managed to get a great shot on this Billy. It was kind of facing towards us, hit him right in the chest and dropped 10 yards from where he was hit. Yeah, he's skinny. There's not a lot of food out here. But beautiful, beautiful beard and that cool blonde ridge on the back. I don't see ones like that too often. Um, but yeah, great, great execution today with your with your shot and tracking and everything and the stalking. Shot felt good. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so Josh is gonna clean his goat and I'm gonna go wander around. Those original bellies we were looking for are still around. There's the one with the white pants. He sees us, but seems pretty uh, pretty nonchalant about our presence. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a different way. Take the long way around. See if I can uh, sneak up to them. There's this little rise right here. Goes a long way over here. And there's plenty of goats on the other side of it. I just gotta figure out a way to sneak in. Well, the wind's been pretty swirly, and the ones I was chasing after by myself uh, took off from the... I think they smelled me. So I caught back up with Josh. He just finished cleaning his his goat. We're just kind of hanging out, having a snack. You can see there's some right in the background here. There's even some big billies out on the horizon out there. Pretty sure they all know we're here, but they're not really, not really running because we're not doing anything other than sitting here and uh, occasionally making goat noises to the best of our abilities. Um, I think we're just gonna rest for a minute and then make a new game plan that involves hunting back towards the truck so we can get his meat on ice uh, fairly soon. Let down for a second if you want. Remember, he's probably like 65 now. Yeah, I want the pinky one, I don't want the black one. Yeah. Slit down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Take 
take your time. So we're working our way back to the truck and seeing tons of goats keep getting pretty close but there's so many eyes out here uh, they get you coming from from anywhere somebody somebody spots you gets everybody alert so it's an interesting game because they get close enough to make you think you're doing a good job but um, we're probably not. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna, gonna sit down here for a little bit. We found a good spot with a good vantage point and some shade. I can see a lot of goats just within 100 yards. Um, they all see us too though, but maybe something will move in that doesn't know we're here and uh, give us a good surprise. The wind's been pretty uncooperative all day, but right now it's picking up speed but it keeps switching back and forth so it'll blow uphill really hard for a couple minutes and it'll blow downhill really hard for a couple minutes and it'll blow, blow across really hard for a couple minutes so everything is smelling us and taking off far before we get close to it we're gonna s try and find the best best place to hide from it and, uh, Maybe. Maybe we can play it a little bit better, I don't know. But we already had some success today, so we could we could call it call it early if we wanted to. There's this nice drainage here that might protect us from the wind a little bit. They definitely hang out in here. There's a gecko. somehow. I think we'll just follow this route along the base of the trunks. Our plan is to get down to the bottom and then pop out and see if there's anything up there. So I was checking over the edge right there. There's this freaking sweet cave. Definitely hang out in there during the hot parts of the day. It goes back a ways too. But there was some goats a little bit farther down, I think, because the way the wind's going, we'll sneak down at the bottom of this drainage here, pop out at the end and put a stock on those guys.
was close. That group had some good goats in it, and it was only 25 to 30 yards away, kind of coming towards me, but it's a little bit outside my comfort zone for shots. Um, and then they kind of turned downhill, and at some point, you know, when I was kind of creeping to get a better shot, one of them saw me, and they all kind of got spooked and went down the hill a little bit. So I think it's late enough. It's, what, 6 o'clock almost? Getting close to 6. So we got to... We gotta start heading up to the truck so we can get out of here in time. Well, that was a fun day. We just made it back to the truck. Uh, we actually ran into Hiko up here. He was uh, hunting the upper part of this area. He ended up getting a couple goats today, which is awesome. Had a cool close encounter with that herd of goats down there at the end of the drainage. And, uh, you know, we got, got them to come in maybe 25 yards away, but couldn't seal the deal. That's all right. And then on the way back up this way, we ran into a couple more groups where I got super close and uh, didn't end up getting a shot, but it was tons of fun to, to creep up on them like that. Uh, you know, that's my that's my favorite part of, of hunting with longbows is getting real close to the animals. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, so we're we're uh, packing up the truck. We got to get out of here. So thanks for joining. Have a beautiful day.